welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having a great day. And here I am with my little Cairo Carter. And um, we are going to do a topic today and also dress him in Winnie the Pooh. Walmart has the cutest Winnie the Pooh accessories and I just had to get them for Cairo. Typically, I love to dress him in August in little onesies, things that look like sleepwear because he's so tiny and I always feel like I need to keep him warm um, and that's a great feeling so yeah um, he just invokes in me to keep him warm keep him cozy and satisfied he just and he looks like he's always content um, so that's why I love to dress him really um, just I'm not going to say basic but just cute comfy and cozy so, um, for those of you who do not know, this is the Adri Stoetti or Stoet Kit, the artist, the Mick Awake sculpt. There also is a Mick Asleep. Um, he was reborn by Miss Serenity Smith. You can find her YouTube channel, Instagram, and all that good stuff by her name handle, Miss Serenity Smith. And um, I won him. And I'm so glad I did. Uh, she was doing a giveaway and I would have never thought to get a small open eye baby because uh, typically I think with the small babies, if I wanted my collection, I want them to be asleep. But he is an open eyed. He was my first open eyed and he's so tiny. I wouldn't have never gotten a preemie. Now I love them. I just love everything. His little tiny everything. He does have a belly plate, which I will show you. And um, I was just really excited to get this little guy. And um, because I have bonded with him, I'm having a hard time debating if I want to get him rooted or not. Because I do not want to send him off. <laughs> so, yeah, you can see his little butt. I'm poking through the t-shirt. Um, but we're going to get him dressed today and um, talk about a topic. And if you like this topic, I would love to uh, hear your comments down below or make a video about it. I was just thinking about it the other day. So this is what he's going to wear. If you haven't been to your local Walmart, um, I would, if you love the Winnie the Pooh, I would love, you know, you would love to go and see this. And this is like a three pack of onesies and um this is the preemie size and believe it or not august can also wear some preemie uh onesies so it just has these cute little winnie the pooh th this one is white with winnie the poohs all over no this is not white this is like a cream guys my lighting is not coming off, off good and then some of them he's got his um, yellow colored in in his t-shirt and some of them is just black and white and just little flowers all over and little bees. I love little bees. I have a little um, blanket here that has bees all over it. And this one is just a striped gray cream and yellow and it has Winnie the Pooh at the top with a pot of honey on his tummy. <laughs> and then it's um, trimmed in yellow. And this last one is just a cute yellow and black. And it just has Winnie the Pooh faces all over it. Um, and of these are snap at the bottom. And I think this one is going to be the one that I put on him. Cairo looks so beautiful in yellow, guys. So I think that's his signature color. And so then we have the mitts over here that matches the onesies. Of course, the ones I just showed you. Let me turn that around the ones I just showed you and we will put the yellow onesies on them I mean uh, mitts on him I like these though but I think I will come back again and put August in these so they'll be 20 and so then we have the hats and they are also like the onesies this just has a B and a poo on it this one has his face which is yellow and this one has poo on it as well with cream and black dots so polka dots these are so cute and so that's what we're going to be putting on him today i've been um having these for quite a bit and um i was trying to wait for like something to come out 
Because I know we have Disney Mondays and things like that, but I was hoping a theme Thursday would have came around with something related. But I'm just ready to put this on him. He looks so cute in yellow. And um, I love anything bees. So that's why I like Winnie the Pooh, because usually he's associated with bees. And um, I forgot to show you what little booties he's going to put on, guys. He's going to put on, I got these from Etsy, and they're just a yellow, and they're white, but they have a little bee on the side, so this is so cute. So he's going to have on a little onesie um, with these on. And they do have the pants to these guys. I just didn't get the pants. Um, I just really wanted to get the onesies. Um, the pants are really cute, too. I may go ahead and get them, but, but because it's summertime, I was like, well, I'll probably way or i might go ahead and get them before i can't get them but i can always go online to see if they have them okay so these are disney baby wishes and dreams and it's the preemie size so very cute he's gonna be all winnie the pooed out i should have taken all this stuff apart before i started um, but I hate those little things that connect, connect them. I have to be really careful with those. And I'm off the side so I don't have to, oh my goodness, this one is pretty, I don't know how they did that. I might have to get some scissors. Thank God for having scissors close hand, right? Um, cause that would have been a bummer if I had to go search for some, but you actually have to cut these apart. And so we're going to do that. And then, like I said, I'm going to come on with August and probably switch him into one of these Winnie the Pooh outfits. So they can twin and take some pictures together. So there's a little hat that he'll be wearing and let's get the mitts. I hope everybody's having a good day. I've been seeing a lot of people getting new babies. And uh, that is such an exciting time. I can't, we can't even explain to anybody who doesn't know this hobby how fun it is to get a new baby in the nursery. Um, they don't understand you just getting a doll, but it's so much more than that. It's just, um, you put a lot of thought in it. You put money in it and you, you know, you connect with them. So it's just so nice to have one but if you uh see my last video i talked about how i don't want many i don't see myself as being a collector where i just have multiple sculpts i just want to love on the sculpts that i have and not really have a big co co uh, collection okay and here's the little mitts he's putting that on so today guys what i want to talk about is the five essentials that I must have in my nursery at all times. I don't want to run out. If there's a new baby coming, this is a great starter. And this is just great to just have in my nursery at all times. Now, this is for me. So this is where I would love to see a video from you or comment down below. What are your five must-haves that you need in your nursery? So... Okay, we're going to count down from five. So, number five, the number, um, number five, one of the things that I must have in my nursery is a blanket. I have to have some cozy blankets for the babies. They usually all have their own personal one. Um, it just looks cozy if you wrap them in it, if you snuggle with them. Um... I just always want to have a blanket on hand and you know they have so many beautiful ones they also can inspire a theme like say okay bumblebee for cert for for example it can make you feel like hmm, this is such a beautiful blanket that the next baby i get this will be their thing so yeah i have to have a comfy cozy blanket um and I have several, so, you know, you change them out. And I'm like, when it comes to my babies, I'm like a, a person who's holding a real baby. I don't like for them to be, like, 
close their face close to my skin. I need to have some type of layer, like something white, plain, especially if I'm wearing something black. So it won't get on their paint. Um, so I usually cover myself up with a blanket before I lay them across my shoulder. So yeah, I have to have a blanket. Number four, guys. I need a brush. I gotta have a nice brush to comb hair. Now, in this situation, as you can see, Cairo does not need a brush. <laughs> um, but usually when I'm changing the babies, uh, my little setup kit for their hair is always close by because either I'm gonna do their hair before I turn on the camera or, you know, brush it while um, I'm doing the video so i have to have a brush guys um so okay this is cairo and all his glory and as you can see he has a beautiful belly plate i typically keep this on him at all times even when i'm cuddling cairo he needs a new wafer when i'm cuddling cairo um i don't take the belly play off a lot of people say that you know it's more comfortable to cuddle with the babies with without it but I feel because he's so tiny it really doesn't make a difference um I probably could see that if I had a belly plate for Remy but for him I don't see um a issue with keeping his belly plate on and I'm gonna show you close up the detail is really beautiful serenity deed such a Great skin tone on him. He is so gorgeous. Look at that little chest area. I wish, I hope the colors are coming off good. But, um, and let me pick him up so you can see this sweet boy. And she has him weighted so sweet. He has a fat little tummy like he's, he just had his meal. Yes, I'm talking to that sweet boy right now. He has the prettiest blue eyes. Um, but he is such a sweetheart. And a lot of times when I'm watching a movie, I'll grab Cairo um, to watch a movie with. He is so sweet to cuddle. And I'm just walking across the room, guys, so I can get a wafer. Hopefully I have some. Yay. I have some close to me. So, um, so number three. The next thing I have to have uh -oh, is a pacifier. Now, usually, I don't let my babies wear their pacifiers long, but it's the aesthetic of having the pacifier, like a little starter kit, um, you know, the bottle, the pacifier, you know, something like that. I think pacifiers are so cute. I collect them. I had to stop collecting them because um, I need to learn more about the magnets because sometimes I could buy them and they don't, they repel against the magnets that the babies have. So, um but usually, I love... See, I have a little bag right here of pacifiers. Um, this is one that he came home with. And Miss Serene did a box opening for him. It was just really special. And I just could not believe I won a whole baby box opening, you know, giveaway. Um, but this is a little pacifier he came with. Now, I usually don't keep a pacifier on them. I like to just have it around, like, beside them. Like, if it fell out their mouth or something like that. So, a pacifier, number three, is what I have to have in my uh, collection in my nursery. So, number two pamper i have to have pampers guys i love pampers especially if they have really nice designs i cannot even see myself putting a uh, outfit on my baby without a pamper i just i can't see myself doing it so i have to not run out of pampers which i don't have that problem but um i have to have a pamper in my collection and these are pampers pure guys that i just got and these are three different designs and this one says hello it has little um stars and little um shapes on it and then it has a heart on the other side which is uh the front side yeah and so this one says love you more and it has little bunnies and shapes and a little carrot so cute i think this is the one i'm going to put on him but this is so cute and these are the pamper pure and then we have this one that says humble and kind so cute and has little leaves on it and little shapes with the heart so we are going to put the love you more on him 
So guys, I have to have a pamper. So right now that's blanket, brush, pacifier, and a pamper. Gotta have those. Um, I think also with, um, if you're a first time reborn mom and you're trying to look up essentials, uh, what's the basic thing to start off with? This, you can't go wrong with these four items. And, um, lift your little bum up. There you go. Um, because it's something you would typically use to like, you know, dress them and start them out for the day. Um, so, and see, this is what I love when I change this pamper, placing it right under, it has a spot for the belly button cut out. Love it. Look at that. He could just wear a pamper all day and just be so sweet. Okay, number one, guys, I have to have onesies. I got to have them. I have to have plain white onesies. Nine times out of ten, my babies are going to have on a onesie up under their outfit. Um, got to do it. Aubrey probably be the exception because she does have an upper torso, but not because I don't want to show the body as much. It's just that when my children were small, I always had a onesie under their um, outfits. And when they grew up, I always had a white t-shirt under their shirts. So I got to do it. And this one is a child of mine, preemie. And I have to have some onesies and just, I'm always uh, buying onesies, long sleeves, sleeveless, short sleeves um i just recently bought some that had color um but white is going to be my go-to i gotta have a onesie in my collect in my nursery so that is blanket brush pacifier pamper and onesies i gotta have those five essentials in my nursery that i can't run out of that usually typically is going to start for a baby or when I'm about to get them dressed all these things has to be nearby so um, I can start their day and um, like I said um, usually I have a little tray that I keep stuff on and just prep that tray when I'm about to dress a baby oh my camera's about to fall but I prep that tray and here's some little white just a little plain white socks um, because he's preemie, like I said, I like to keep him warm. We're going to put these socks on him. So guys, tell me what are your five must-haves in the nursery that you have to have? Like, they got to be there. You can't run out. Uh, you're going to make sure you don't run out. And if you see something of it, you're going to typically buy it. Um, this is already 17 minutes, so this is going to be a longer video. Um, but I have a bonus one. The bonus um, thing that I must have in my nursery is an open mind. And why I say that is because this hobby um, is so great and things, you know, it's getting more and more popular by the minute. And um, everybody, you know, that wants to enjoy it, I feel like they should be able to. So I want to keep an open mind about what people have in their collection what I keep in my collection, and just enjoy the hobby. And this also helps me with open mind for creativity because, like I said, I love to set my babies up realistically. The more realistic, the better. And it just makes um, that great feeling come to me when um, I am with the baby, just anything realistic. But open mind, preferably, like I said, is due to um other people in the hobby um this hobby is expensive i won't go into detail exactly what all i mean by that but it's expensive and what i can afford may not be what somebody else can afford and if somebody can afford a ten thousand dollar doll i know i cannot afford it but to be in this hobby um i'm going to spend the money that i like to enjoy the hobby that I love but whatever anybody puts in their hobby it's you know fine with me just you know not mean about it not showing hate not judging oh my god guys he is so he's my little Winnie the Pooh Bear look at this precious boy look at that oh my goodness 
Cairo. You're my little Pooh Bear. Yes, you're my little Pooh Bear. So I just ask people to remember to keep an open mind and to remember, um, you know, you don't have to tell me why you're in the hobby. Everybody has a reason why they're in the hobby, whether it's for um, the art, the fascination, therapy, whatever. But whatever the reason that you're in the hobby and you're enjoying your hobby, um, you know, that's you. I know what I like. I know how what I will support but I'm not going to judge. So those are my five things in a bonus. And I would love, love, love to know what your five things are. Um, hopefully you made it all the way to the end. Um, if you did, thank you so much for um, supporting me and listening to this video and um, just hanging out with me today and hanging out with my baby Cairo. Oh, he looks so cute. Pictures coming up, guys. Look at that baby. Uh, oh, He's got to sit in here with me today. Yes, he does. Wow. Well, guys, you have a great day, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.